Welcome into this week's Degrees of Science. A lot of excitement building for the April 8th eclipse. And you may be looking for an easy and fun way to kind of educate yourself and your family about the upcoming eclipse. We've got a really cool book we're going to talk to you about. Today we're talking to Meg Jarrett. She wrote this really awesome book, The Moonies, and the title, The Moonies Journey to the Total Solar Eclipse. So, Meg, why, why did you decide to write this book? Well, in all honesty, this book is actually based off of um, based off of real experience, and I'm a creative nonfiction writer, so um, I think that for me applies to kind of all the levels of of writing, of just taking real stories and and um, playing with them creatively. And yeah, I. I was on my way to see the eclipse with my family in 2017, and um, we experienced cloud interference, which basically means that a cloud was just over the uh, eclipse while it was happening, um, which was honestly pretty funny. So that kind of inspired the plot of the Moonies, who are rallying themselves to make the journey to Earth to witness a total solar eclipse from an earthly perspective. And they have missed one in the past. <laughs> so that was kind of the inspiration. So one of the fun things I, I caught with it was kind of the, the teenage vibe you get from the two, the two kids and how they weren't overly excited about it, but then when the event happens, just how it blows them away. Was that kind of the goal to push out how, how once in a lifetime kind of thing this is? 100%. Um, so I, yeah, I was definitely pulling on sort of those memory, those teenage memories and um, just the the ways that you can be dumbfounded when you're not expecting it. Um, and I think that in all honesty, I, I keep saying this, but it feels like the most honest way to describe it. I feel like an eclipse really is like witnessing a miracle in the sky and 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 I feel like it would be an incredible experience for an individual at any age but also especially a child or a very young person to be able to carry a memory or an image like that in their minds like throughout their lives so I do feel like it's something that you just want as many people as possible who are able to be in that path of totality and, and experience that. You, you had the 2017 one where you were socked in with clouds. Have you seen a total solar eclipse firsthand other than the one with the clouds? No. So this this for me is also like I am also very deeply looking forward to witnessing this miracle in the sky because I did see the annular back in October, which I found completely awe striking. Like I so I can only imagine the sort of all-encompassing experience of totality. I cannot wait. <laughs> how, how does this book, uh, The Moonies, teach kids about the history and what what was going on during an eclipse? Well, it it goes over sort of the different cultural perspectives on eclipses and how there have been different ways of of looking at or viewing eclipses, and also how they have responded to eclipses in the past like there have there has been a war that has stopped because there was a total solar eclipse happening or um yeah like there's there's different approaches that different cultures have taken and and i feel like that also is really a part of the experience of an eclipse because it connects us to humanity's long held fascination with and also, you know, groups of people who've had fear about it, but truly this wonder as to what is happening <laughs> in the sky. Um, so it was really fun to just like pull all of that in and try to make, you know, the the novel have have space for, for all of that. One of the really cool things uh, with what you're offering with your book is the, the glasses that, that come with it. So uh, t tell us about that and why it's so important for kids to make sure they've got glasses for the eclipse. Definitely. So these glasses are critical <laughs> to have for witnessing the magical experience of a total solar eclipse. They are 
what are going to protect the eyes 100% guarantee that they're going to protect the eyes during the experience. And of course, the glasses can be removed during the brief, brief window of totality when the sun is completely obscured, but they are totally necessary for witnessing all stages of partiality. So yes, eclipseglasses.com is where all of these glasses are coming from. American Paper Optics has been producing these for 32 years. So definitely in safe hands, your eyes are safe. <laughs> And so, it, you know, it, it's fun, fun novel, and it kind of has, like you said, more of an interstellar. This family moving, lives on Mars, so uh, how fun was it to kind of take that different approach of them thinking about the eclipse? Super fun, honestly. Um, and I feel like, I feel like it was also just, I had just moved to Austin not long before, before beginning this project, and so for me it felt very realistic that a family on Mars would come to Texas and be like, this is crazy how hot it is. Like, are we on the sun right now? And cause that was how I was feeling at the time. But um, yeah, I think just the creative liberties that come with, with outer space um, really open up possibilities in a story. And you were, you were talking about the, the Texas ties. So it's got, you know, taco truck and it's Texas state capital. And all of this is just, so pretty the way it's put in here. Why, why did you lean more towards kind of a graphic novel with this book? Definitely for accessibility purposes. Like I find that I find that many people are more visual. At least it seems that way to me. Or maybe I'm more visual, and so I just talk to people who are more visual. But having a graphic novel, I feel, just makes all of the information so much easier to access and really gives clear depictions of what actually happens during an eclipse. Tell folks if they wanted to get the book, learn more about it, uh, where, where they could find more info about it. Yeah, definitely eclipseglasses.com. American Paper Optics is, is the company and they are producing the books and the glasses and they also have lots of other products too, like the solar snap, which lets you, you know, actually photograph the eclipse while it's happening with a smartphone. Um, and there's just lots of like wacky fun options. Like if you were going to have an eclipse party, you know, you can have a bunch of fun eclipse, different shapes and cowboy hats and all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, they have got you covered <laughs> for everything. <laughs> So, well, Meg, I appreciate you talking with us. Again, the name of the book is Moody's, The Journey to, a, to the Total Solar Eclipse. It's a fun read. I even had fun and was laughing about it and talking about it to some of our coworkers here. Well, Meg, thank you for taking time to talk with us, and hopefully you and all of us will get to enjoy that uh, eclipse coming up on April 8th. Definitely, yes. Thank you so much, Brady. I appreciate it.